The string of hoax threats targeting schools in the Bay State continued for now a third day today. Northampton, Ludlow, South Hadley High Schools among them. Welcome to Western Mass News at 6, everyone. On this Wednesday, I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle joining us live in Northampton with how police handled the situation there. Glenn. Chris, everyone inside of Northampton High School was ordered to shelter in place after police received calls threatening violence. Northampton High School, the target of a threat on Wednesday. We received a phone call uh, directly to our dispatch from an unknown individual uh, claiming he, he was threatening violence against the high school, that he was outside the school threatening violence. Uh, at that point, uh, we notified the school, shelter in place, uh, units arrived shortly thereafter. Northampton Detective Sergeant Corey Robinson tells Western Mass News officers then searched the school to verify there were no threats to students, teachers and staff. It's a scene that has played out at high schools across the state starting on Monday with Westfield among the communities targeted. On Tuesday, it was Springfield, Chicopee and Greenfield among others receiving hoax threats. The list of targets grew on Wednesday with Northampton, Ludlow and South Hadley joining others around the state. All of this keeping police on alert. We always have a visible presence in the area. Um, again, we've got several other schools in the area and uh, you know, we're going to be be prepared for further threats. One Northampton parent tells Western Mass News the experience of going through these false threats have had lasting effects on her child. I'm tired of the mentality that people can just call this way. I'm tired of the mentality. I mean, my kids were already traumatized. Um, my daughter about the shooting at Michigan State. It just, I am so sick of it. After the shelter in place was lifted, Northampton High School resumed classes as scheduled. Reporting live in Northampton, Glenn Kittle, Western Mass News.